Good afternoon, everybody. My name is Peter Mothy, and I have a few things to share with you today. I wanted to talk with you about volatility. Volatility in the markets is an important aspect of what we deal with in the real world of managing money as we do here at Flexible Plan. So here's the, the deal with volatility. Volatility spikes when people get fearful. And we call the volatility index the fear gauge. And for good reason, because when fear rises, people get irrational, markets get irrational, and bad decisions are made. So what I wanted to highlight for you today was some of these periods in the past when the fear index got high, what markets did when those environments occurred and why we at Flexible Plan stay true to our purpose of being rules-based. We want to be able to be objective at all times. So let's take a look at some of these periods. The graph that I have in front of you today is showing you 12 years of history. And as we go back in time, you can see on the top is the fear gauge or the volatility index. And you can see when it gets into the green gauge, and the reason why I shaded it in green today is because, look, these are the really great opportunities for investors, but they're the most fearful times for investors. And if you take a look at those periods of time, when I've overlaid that with the graph below, which is of the S&P 500, you can see where when fear gets high, opportunity also gets high. And you can see that almost always when the fear index gets high, as it is today, opportunity gets high as well. So I wanted to bring this back into context with what we do here at Flexible Plan. So go with me for a second to how we craft portfolios, because one of the things that we do here at Flexible Plan is we understand the fear gauge, and we understand how portfolios move, and that's why we construct them with all three asset classes. You can see that along the bottom of the graph here. You can see that we add multiple rule sets, which is on the upper right-hand side of the graph. And then we also are very keen on the fact that we need to have all three timelines, short-term, intermediate-term, and long-term, considered when we craft a portfolio. In the meantime, I thank you for joining us, and I'll be back with more graphs, more information in the days ahead.